Block One today is a space where people can learn from the materials, but also from each other. We think it's very important that we have a space and activities that invite people to share what they feel for. So a place where they learn through the traditional media, but also a place where they learn through other people. Our job is to connect those people and facilitate uh, the way they want to share their ideas. So we're building Dog One in Minecraft and we've done so together with about five kids from another organization. Uh, in the last four Sundays we've met for two and a half hours and uh, just building and building and building. So we have a, a basic model right now uh, okay. of Dog One. And the idea is to try and recreate it uh, in a different manner. In so a right different manner. Yeah, so right now we're we just want to have the walls and uh, the basic architecture uh, building and then uh, the kids will have the opportunity to try and uh, redecorate however they see fit. Well, we're working at Aarhus University at the Center for Teaching Development and Digital Media and we're trying to, in, to infuse entrepreneurship into our teaching. And we do it through different concrete projects we, and we work together with partners outside the university and in this case it is this main library in this new fashion fantastic library at in Aarhus called Doc One and our students have the task to do some activities in a very informal learning space here together with no matter who comes and looks at them or wants to in interact with them. Combined uh, the spiral ball with a game, so that um, the youngsters has to choose from three different things. Um, as you can see here on the iPad, the first thing they see is uh, the word uh, set in Arabic. Uh -huh. So they can uh, watch the video, and then if they can guess from this, they uh, get five points. Most of them. Uh, take this one. We use uh, sign language. When you see the sign language, it's, it's quite easy. And then some of the real small ones we've had, uh, I think one of the boys were like four years old. Uh, they have to go to this one, which is one point, and it's the picture. Yes. I think in our school system um, we, we uh, train our children to think about looking for the right answer and going down the right road um, to get the qualifications or whatever. In, in the schooling system I think that that, that, that kind of entrepreneurial mindset is, is maybe lost a little bit and what we're trying to do when, when we've got these workshops here is to bring, bring that, that kind of thinking back to our students. Um, so we've introduced them to um, thinking about taking just one step at a time when they're looking at problems and problem solving. Um, they've trained in schools to think that if they're going to solve a problem that there is one right answer. And what we're trying to do here is to say, well, let's look at the problem and let's really explore what it's about. Basically, we're, we're doing uh, stop motion movies. Um, with Lego, we're asking the, the kids and the parents as well uh, to make a stop motion video about the library. We're very focused on knowledge sharing and uh, digital uh, education and we're live, we're sharing it on Facebook. Yes, on uh, Facebook. Yes, right? and uh, also in uh, Helsinger they're doing the same thing. Same thing. Okay. So we're sharing pictures and um, knowledge and um, ideas from Aarhus to Helsinger and the other way around. And um, perhaps they get inspired by what they see here in Aarhus, in Helsinger, and the other way around. Ompo, how Ompo? We call it open laboratories. Open towards the outside world, open to those who enter the laboratory, open to mixing different kinds of media and materials on the way. And I also call it uh, experimenting communities because even though the students in this case are what those who arrange things, who frame things, they're framing it in a way that they try to make the kids engage in how to do the, do the experimenting.
we are making a challenge with those ro robots. We are having uh, eight robots and some colors, and those robots can read colors. And then I have found some children, and the children are making uh, race tracks. Race tracks. And we so have two children who don't know each other who are playing together with this. Okay. And uh, I asked them afterwards, do you think this is Danish or math or physics? And they said, it's math. And I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so you originally made a task saying that this yeah. one should be one meter. Yeah. yeah. See I have here, this is one meter. And I told oh, okay. them, it's one meter. And then you're going in challenge with some other children. And they also have one meter. Okay. And then they, s they couldn't stop. They want to see more, they want to see more functions in the spots and in the combinations of color. So they changed the rules, right? They made their own rules. Our take on a modern library is a library for people, uh, where we are going from the transactions between people and materials to interaction between people and people and the materials and the stories that they contain. Mm -hmm.